this was thoroughly fascinating and enjoyable. I think when um, someone like this has uh, so much to say and impart, um, it's definitely worth taking the time and listening. And um, I wasn't able to or aware of attending any show, so putting it in uh, a video format like this for one to enjoy at their leisure was uh, smart. It was effective. Um, having the different cameras and being able to uh, switch between uh, just kept things uh, interesting, dynamic. Whereas if you're sitting in the audience, you're it's a different feeling because you're there, but you know you're limited to the to the one perspective. Um, but that stuff's not really important. It's the content of what um, what he was saying. There was just a lot of great, uh, valuable life experience and information being presented there. Uh, in a way that um, can really affect the person. You uh, can see yourself uh, putting a lot of what he's saying to use in your own life. It's, it's, it's poignant, it's, it's smart, uh, it's, it's entertaining, it's humorous at times. Um, there's really a lot to enjoy about this piece. Uh, the kind of gentleman you can really just sit back and, and listen to at length and uh, really enjoy and absorb uh, what he's got to say because it's fascinating stuff. Chance Encounters. I absolutely loved this, and I love this for a lot of different reasons, but the idea that a chance encounter can have such an impact on somebody that they're still thinking about it years or even decades later, I think is such a powerful message. And I think that his way of kind of honoring each of those chance encounters with playing music on like non-traditional instruments, proving that if you really wanna make music, you can make music out of anything. And having each of those chance encounters, which f for different reasons, kind of drove him to be the musician and the person that he is today and using all of those experiences to kind of inspire all of these very, very unique, very, very interesting and intriguing like musical numbers and weaving it all together with great storytelling. I thought the entire performance was amazing and I really think that the messages that he was kind of trying to boil down and the things that had stuck with him personally that he wanted to you know then pass on because they had made such a profound impact on him and he wanted to share that. I thought was really really beautiful and then like I said to, to kind of pair that with the drive that he has as a musician to create music out of seemingly random things I think is so cool and such a great message that if you want to do something just pursue it just do it and you know it doesn't always have to be in the little box that we put things into like it doesn't have to be like a piano or a guitar or you know if it's a sport like it doesn't have to be whatever tiny little box is the most conventional way of doing something if you want to make music with keys that you got if you want to make music with you know concrete cores if you want to make music with books like you can do it you just have to have the passion and the drive and the you know talent to a certain extent but i really really loved this i thought it was like i said the performance was great from the music to the storytelling and how he waved everything together and the points that he was trying to underline especially with how you know we, we can approach our you know kind of chance encounters moving forward um i thought was really 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 wonderful I thought John's Encounters was a fun and joy joyful watch. I enjoyed the one man showcasing the film, watching one man take on the center stage role and perform in front of an audience. I thought the jokes were great. Some landed really great. And overall, John's Encounters was a fun watch. And I especially enjoyed the single location, single character, audience interaction um, style of the film that was going on. So well done. 